So in the big white box comes a power supply with international adapters, uh, tape measure, which we will use the metric side of. Everything is in millimeters. Uh, we have a servo extension cable. We have two hex keys. Um, just real quick, the smaller of the two is only for changing the spool. If you wanted to flip that around, which we won't cover here, we'll just leave you confused. We have the CoCupy board, the servo, SD card, and the Raspberry Pi, two Ethernet cables, left and right motor mounts. Um, these should be ready to go. Shouldn't have to assemble anything um, after you open them. So I'm going to set it all up, and then we'll get it calibrated, and that'll be it. Quick. All right. When setting up, you want to make sure that you have all the cables connected before you power up the Pi and the GoCuPi board. It uh, could potentially damage the motor controllers if you do it. If you power the board and then plug in the cables, could be bad. That being said, I've done it numerous times, but in the data sheet, for the controller chips, it does state, do not unplug while powered. On the board, the left and right motors are labeled on the top of the board and the bottom. You shouldn't have any trouble locating those. The servo just clips in the gondola here. Kind of mindful of the cable as you clip it in. You want it to fold over. So this is the board, the drawing side. You want the servo facing the, or closer to the board. You want the cable coming out the other direction, like so. So when you get the, cable, the servo extension cable, the colors aren't gonna match up, but just make note on the servo cable, the light um, strand is the signal, which is lit, marked on the board as well. Uh, if you hook it up wrong, it will soft reboot the Raspberry Pi repeatedly. All right, so once the servo is connected, just hang it. Remember that the servo should be closer to the board. It's easier to understand when you're actually looking at it, slash holding it. So we're gonna measure the triangle to tell the computer where the actual gondola is. And you can't see what I'm measuring too, so I'm gonna draw it. We have the idler that goes through the bearing here, uh, small, and then the spool, and the string goes over the idler and then down. So we wanna measure from this point of contact to the same thing on the other side in millimeters. Everything's in millimeters. So eventually we're going to give the Raspberry Pi a command. It's going to be CoCuPy set up. And then it wants the top measurement, then the left, and then right. So 
So from the distance from the point of contact to the edge of the gondola is 395 millimeters. From the edge of the gondola to the center is 120. marker just friction fits to the center of the gondola and we turn the TV on all right so the login info is the same for the standard uh, raspy and wheezy image so user pi passwords raspberry One more time. Yep. All right. Go Cupy setup seven one seven five one five five four five. And then we tell it we want to draw a grid to calibrate. So go Cupy grid one hundred ten. So the number is one hundred ten mean 100 millimeters width and height and 10 is 10 cells each direction actually I'm gonna do a slow factor here just to get a little bit more precision so the flag is dash slow factor equals 2 um, immediately after GoCupy This one's actually an invisible ink. If you give it a second, it'll show up. When I started saying that, I didn't know what was gonna happen. It's like magic appeared. So the, the command to slow it down there was so no spaces in all this. And so this is the addition to the command we were going to use, which is grid 110. 100 being the height and width. 10 number of cells. So we want to move the gondola by hand. By hand? Manual is what I should have said. So go occupy spool, enter, then we give it the individual command. So left, we want to control the left motor and we want to pull some line in, so we use negative numbers, so left minus 100, right minus 100, then we have to change the setup file. So just hit any key to get out of the spool command. I'm gonna arrow back up to my setup, because I'm lazy. So we had 515 on the left side, I'm gonna make it 415, right side was 545, gonna make it 445, easy. So then, I guess this is a good time as any. If you just type GoCupy and hit enter, it gives you the menu of your options. The commands are down here. Does it make you work for it? Up here would be too easy. So we did, we did grid for calibration. We did setup for the initial position. We did spool to move it. We're gonna do spiral now, so. Occupy spiral. So if you, it takes more parameters than this, but you don't know that yet. So if you do just go occupy spiral, enter, it'll tell you what you missed. So we need the radius and the delta of the radius per revolution. So go occupy spiral, we'll do 100 
millimeter. Nah, let's do 50. It's crazy talk. And then a two millimeter delta. But experience tells me that a spiral will go too fast. With the big spools, we have to switch them. Remember I told you we were just gonna switch them. I was gonna talk about switching the spool and then not show you just to confuse. I'm just revisiting that. Um, so we would do slow factor equals, we did two already. Let's do slow factor equals four, just because even. So GoCupy, slow factor equals four, spiral 50, delta two, go. Oh my circle. So the, <clears throat> the little bit of ripple in the line is because I always draw with the current all the way up on the motors. Um, there's one potentiometer on the board and it controls the current for both motors. Um, I don't like to mess with it. So I just turn it all the way up so that they always hold. Um, max current is max holding torque. The lower the current, the smoother the step. So you wouldn't have that little ripple in the line. You would have closer to perfect circles. Um, other than that, that looks pretty good. This message brought to you by GoCupy.com. For more information, go to GoCupy.com slash kits. Slash. I like it. Slash. Or not. You don't have to slash at the end. It'll go. There's no way that my mustache was straight the entire time. And nobody said anything. Yeah. Ooh. Fast. Make slow factor, please. So, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Oh, fuck, this is confusing. It's gonna be difficult. My microphone is itching. I think I'm allergic to microphone.